I made a mock-up of a person wearing a red shirt with some white markings and gray camouflage nylon pants. Passion Lucas appeared to be wearing white nylon pants, but I could only find white pants and cotton. I don't know exactly what Passion's pants were like, but I worry that cotton might reflect light very different from nylon, so these pants will give us a better idea, even if they are not exactly right or exactly white. I used this old 2002 beater truck, and there was not a lot of difference between the high and low beams on this truck, but I used the high beams because they looked a little more normal. The light looked a little more like what I would expect the low beams on Susanna Page Norris's car to look like. This is 165 feet. Uh, to me, sitting in the car, it's clear as day. On the screen of my cheapest possible iPhone, it looks kind of small. So first thing I've learned is that it actually looks a lot bigger in real life than it does in this little iPhone video. One thing I learned throughout this exercise is that my eye is able to see and focus on and clearly make out things in the distance which the camera either cannot pick up or chooses not to focus on. What I'm testing is, supposing I did see it 165 feet out going, I don't know, 30, would that be anywhere near enough to stop? That would be right about here. Yeah, uh, that, that would, that would be, an, 165 feet would be enough to stop if I was going like 40, I think. Now I'm at about 500 feet. Uh, once again, it looks clear as day to me, pretty big on the iPhone screen. It doesn't look all that big. What I'm curious to see is, suppose I get up to uh, a decent speed. I I'm only gonna go up to like 25, but I wanna get an idea of if I was going 40, would that 165 feet be enough to stop if that was my actual recognition distance. So if it was dark, this thing's clear as day, but if it was dark, I wouldn't see it till right here. That would be right on the, right on the edge of where I could, if I first recognized it at 165 feet, that seems like it would be right on the edge of where I could stop if I was going 40. Because I would have to, you know, I'd recognize it, take me a second to get my foot on the brakes, I'd have to stand on it. It seems like if I stood on the brakes going going 40, if it took me a little less than a second, I don't know how much, not, not less than a second to get my foot on the brake, I'm going to be able to stand on it and just barely come to a complete stop before hitting that. That going 40 but I'm definitely going to be very slow somewhat before it so the key is to slow down enough for the accent to not be fatal I'm out here just barely after civil twilight couple minutes into nautical twilight and the reason why is because this is actually about what it looks like down on the street when there's a full moon it's about this light to my best recollection and also looking at other places that I'm familiar with based on the moon I don't know if you can see in this video, but I'm at 500 feet and I can see those those camouflage pants as the most recognizable or distinct feature in front of me for miles. Like I look all around and those white camouflage pants, those nylon pants that are gray camouflage, they're brighter in color than anything else at 500 feet in just uh, moonlight type quality conditions, uh, you know, like a few minutes after civil twilight. I do not have my headlights on. I'm gonna try turning on these old headlights and see if they make any difference at 500 feet. They make the white pants uh, slightly brighter, but they add a lot of brightness up closer to me. And so the, bright, the white pants are now brighter but they're no longer the brightest thing out here. Now I'm gonna pull up to 165 feet and see what happens in this uh, kind of uh, full moon with headlights. 
as I start to come up, I'm at like 400 feet and those white pants are just, you cannot miss them. You cannot miss those white pants. I'm now at 330 feet and, I'm, and I clearly see white pants. So now I'm at 500 feet with uh, just the low beams on, old, old 2002 Ratty truck uh, low beams. Uh, I could see the pants pretty, I could see a person at 500 feet. Now this is just like, uh, uh, like half moon conditions. And now I'm, and now I'm like, uh, like 10 minutes or something into nautical twilight. And this is what it looks like when there's a half moon out on this road. And you can't see on this phone, but I, I can see the white pants as the brightest thing there is. I wouldn't notice or care or think that's something yet unless I was really concerned. Like, I, I mean, I would see something odd, but I wouldn't know if it was a bush or a tree off the side of the road. I can see there's something there, but it's not certain that it's, that it's in the road or on the side of the road or off in the ditch. You know, maybe like a white birch tree or something. So now we're coming up to, uh, now I can see something white that's even brighter, but with my low beams on, again, the foreground is much brighter. I can see there's something up there, and it would be interesting to me if I was stopped or going slowly. It would take a little mo moment longer for it to become interesting, maybe, if I was going faster. Though I believe I could see it from further behind. Now we're going up to high beams. Doesn't really have any effect at this distance. It, 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 you know, it just makes more bright in the foreground and only slightly illuminates the pants. Uh, now I'm going back to low beams. I'll tell you when I recognize it to be uh, pants. Or, okay, I already recognize it to be a person at like 400 feet. Low beams, I can tell that's a person at 400 feet. And, and I, I mean, I can clearly tell it's a person at 300 feet. There's just no question. That's a person way out, 300 feet, 200 feet. It doesn't matter. I mean, you can't miss those white pants and that, that shirt. It just, it has a person feel to it. Even more so than in the, uh, when you can see it in day, you can see that it's just a retarded mass of clothes. Now I am going as fast as I can safely go on this road, 25 miles per hour. The hazard is about two feet into the road, but it's still well to the side of my driving path. At 500 feet, I see something white, like possibly something in the road or a white bark tree off the shoulder. At 400 feet, I can tell it's in the road and I can tell it's shaped like a pillar. At 300 feet, I can clearly see it's a person. I have moved to a different road where I can drive 35 or 36 miles per hour. The hazard is placed about five feet out of the side of the road. At 600 to 300 feet, I'm able to see something, though the lighting is not stable as I bounce around. At 300 to 200 feet, I can see it's a person. The biggest difference is not the speed, but the hazard being well to the side and out of the brightest area of my headlights. I estimate if the hazard had been straight in the middle, I could have recognized it as a person at 400 feet, even going 36 or 40 miles per hour. I looked this up and it is called a DOT pattern. Headlight brightness is designed to drop off sharply at the edge of the road and to not blind oncoming drivers. The most confusing was when there were two cars and a trailer pulling into the road in the trees behind the hazard. With the trees and the lights, I could not sort out what was what or if it was a person until I was maybe 200 feet away. I believe if Susanna Page Norris had been looking, she could have clearly seen passion and recognized her as a person. 
Those white nylon pants are the brightest thing on an empty street, and they are automatically recognizable as a person by their size and shape, even with only a hint of detail from the shirt above, like stars in a constellation, even more so with motion. But there is a possibility that her pants were the same height as a construction drum. Not easy to confuse, especially if the legs were moving. But if there are a lot of construction drums with reflectors into the distance, the pants could get mixed up in the reflectors. In that case, you could tell there was something, but not really be sure what you were coming up on. Some type of confusing hazard with motion and reflectors.